Today we're going to take a look at the current events around the world. On Monday, December 7th, China's capital issued its first ever red alert for pollution as a new blanket of choking smog descended on Tuesday morning. Half of Beijing's car ordered off the road. 30% of the government vehicles were also garaged. It's so bad that one millionaire is manufacturing cans of air to help people breathe. Outdoor construction sites will cease operations, but only some industrial plants will have, will have to implement measures to limit or stop production. And Beijing's Environment Protection, Protection Agent Bureau on its verified social media account, adding that fireworks and barbecues are also banned. Now to David with exercise affecting your brain. Thanks, Catherine. What if exercise can make your brain be able to learn, heal, and change, and in a sense, make it younger? A small study published Monday, December 7th in the journal Current Biology suggests that it might just do that. Previous research has shown that exercise may improve how the brain operates in high-level brain functions, such as memory and thinking skills, areas that remain f flexible throughout life. But the new study shows that exercise may even be able to impact how the brain works in low-level areas, previously considered hardwired in adults. And now to Joe with a story about the galaxies around the universe. Thanks, David. Have you ever wondered what further galaxies look like than the ones in our observable universe? Well, you used to not be able to do that because our telescopes were radio telescopes, and they couldn't see that far because they were being blocked by lots of dust. And, but now that we found a way around it by making new, new telescopes, and now we can see through that dust into the further galaxies. The galaxies that were blocked are, were called starburst galaxies. Yeah, that's right, starburst. They're not as tasty as the candy, though. The galaxies hadn't quite fully formed yet, and they, were still, they still had a lot of dust around them, which is why we couldn't see them. But now we can see through that dust with our new telescopes in, into the galaxy, so we know more about formations. Now that's all the time we have for our stuff today. Now, tune back later for more. <laughs>